we can't seem to get enough of these E-Class Mercedes. Uh, this is actually the second Mercedes-Benz E280 diesel we've had in the past couple of weeks. It's a 2006 model, this car, and it's an avant-garde sport. You can tell it's a sport because it's got the beautiful sport wheels and the twin exhaust system at the back. It's obsidian black in colour with black interior. It's a diesel, obviously. It's done 206,000 kilometres and it does have a very good service history. Surprisingly, it's got memory electric driver's seat, which was definitely an option. Two remote keys, and I have driven it, and it drives beautifully. I think these represent incredible value. The other E280 diesel we have has 260,000 kilometres, and that also drives perfectly. We've had six-cylinder petrol W211 series, which is this model, um, which we've sold with 300,000 kilometres. So with the Mercedes-Benz, if it's well looked after, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do three, four, five hundred thousand kilometres before any major works. It's also got a timing chain as opposed to a timing belt, so you don't need to change that. There's the full-size spare and a nice big battery. The Oven Guard Sport was the top of the range. It's also got Xenon headlights, front and rear parking sensors, and the beautiful wheels, which are only available on the Sport. It's also got the unique Sport interior, which has the white stitching on the seats, as you can see here. The back seat quite literally doesn't look like it's been sat in. It's got the seven-speed gearbox and the powerful yet economical three-litre turbo diesel engine. It's Bluetooth compatible. And it does have, the Sport also came with um, paddle shifts behind, on the steering wheel actually. There wasn't a lot of um, E350s or E280 diesels for that matter with Xenon lights, so we're pretty happy when we saw that it had been optioned with the much better headlights. The car is spotless. I can't see any dents or scratches whatsoever on this car. We'll have a look under the engine bay. It's also got the sport pedals, as you can see. is nice and clean. And if you've been looking around at the uh, the petrol versions of this E-Class and you haven't seen a diesel yet, they are, I believe they are a little bit rare. I think you should come and have a look at it and take it for a drive. If you're looking at petrols with 100 to 150,000 kilometres I think this car is worth coming and having a look at it. Take it for a drive. You're welcome to get an inspection. If you look on the road, you'll see lots of diesel Mercedes from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Mercedes like the 240D, 300D, the E270 CDI, and the list goes on. And when they get to this age, they're also very popular for people in the country, or if you've got a property, obviously you get a discount on diesel. And the other E280 we've got, when I looked at the trip computer, it was suggesting that its average fuel consumption was seven litres per 100 kilometres, which is pretty impressive for a car of this size. Thanks for taking the time to, for watching our video today. If you are looking for a safe, economical, reliable car, then I think an E280 CDI is certainly a good place to start. Thanks again. 
and we look forward to hearing from you.